And I couldn't even change if I wanted to I got diamonds on my chain and my wrist do too And I'ma always be the same no matter what I do And you know money ain't a thing and I don't look like you Get your intro, Spud. Now go ahead. Man, what just say? I ain't had nothing to damn say. I told you five minutes ago, this your intro. Oh. You like, all right. All right, come on. You know how to pop it off, Bowl Lane. Everybody, what? this is uh, four episode. Bowl Lane TV podcast. I'm mean, going to do your own thing. Don't steal my shit. I don't. All right. <laughs> oh, man. I, don't, I never copycat a uh, huh? light skin, nigga. Yeah, Splat, I'm bringing in. I can't see the finger said out loud. <laughs> oh, yeah, like on the way. I like you can't talk. Go ahead, though. Pop it out, Will. Three, two, one. I'm to go with you said, what? Yeah, oh, bitch. All right, all right, start over. Oh, man. Yeah, 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 boy. You got to keep stopping record. You know, just keep going. Go ahead, Splat. Well, you tune in and let's talk about it. Episode four. I got my man, School Walk TV. Do it. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah man. Let's everybody. We, we do it. Uh, you gotta introduce everybody. Though. Well, we yeah, call Hitman. Hitman, hit man, man. Hit, 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 DJ, the Hitman. <laughs> All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Do it now. Go on. All right, we got cut that too. Are right, you tuned in? Let's talk about it. Episode four. Splash. Got my boy School Walk TV. Huh? Bow Lane Slick. DJ, the Hitman. For sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. So school wop wop wop. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I so I see you got down, you started your own little trend. You started doing comedian. So tell me about it. Like what you mean, like like I start off with the comedian. What motivates you to like just be like, fuck it, man, I'm gonna take off and do the comedy thing. It really started, bro. Like I always been, a, I've been a clown my whole damn life, right? Yeah, but, yeah. We about, everybody about for that. Like, you been <laughs> up, man. So check it out. Yeah, damn. I used to watch Dave Chappelle. Like, that was my dude, bro. Them, them episodes with Dave Chappelle to be out here, the Chappelle show. That's, a, was, that's a motivation. Oh, uh, man, listen, this is why I started that. Once I started seeing him, what he was doing. See, back then, if niggas would have went behind him, it would have been more of me. You know what I'm saying? So once I seen Dave was doing, like, damn, man, one day can I do this shit? And I always watched this shit. It was just funny, but I was so hood, I just couldn't just jump to that all top. Like, I can't just do that shit. Nobody want respect that shit. You know how that shit is around here. Motherfucker sees him do some shit like that. What the hell is this nigga on, man, type shit. But it just Everybody came, good, it just came to a time where that shit just came through, bro. Like, when I started seeing my kids interacting with that shit, I started fucking around with that company shit, bro. Like, cause I started seeing that a lot of people on Instagram were doing it. I'm like, damn, I could do it too. But the whole time, I thought I could. At first, that shit was a whole, just like the rap game, that shit was a whole nother fucking ball game. Bro. Yeah, you definitely probably, Man, how the hell? What's going on with the crowd shit? Like, where the hell did that come from? How you? What is this? What's right. going on? I really one day, like, I be um. How you get the crowd to smoke weed? Did everybody want to know. Basically, bro, like when I have them, I know how to control them little fuckers. I know it might sound crazy. Like, what well, they ain't scared of you no more, bro. They ain't gonna try to attack you. With oh, the they pets. They still, a, yeah, they pets. They still a snap your ass now. You yeah. get them roll now. But I just know how to control them, and it's all about the temperature too. I know how to freeze them. So you the same crowd? Oh, you they bring them back to life? Yeah, see, you freeze them, it, it puts them in like a um, like Sleep a little mode. coma. Like, put them in a little coma, and they just bang, like that. bring them out. The heat hit them, boy, come back alive. What's happening? So you 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 got the same one? Nah, they see. I get them by 10, 15 days. They be up out here. I get another batch type. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all the story though. One time I used to have them out, right? I had put them all up the whole time, bro. I had miscounted one. Bro, that little motherfucker had been running around the house by two days, bro. Cooling, bro. That motherfucker came out of nowhere. The crowd like, what the fuck? The whole time that bitch been chilling. Yeah, how you get into that, man? Like, what what made you come up with that, though? One day, like, I always been um, infatuated because my people be going up top a lot and they be traveling. They used to always go to them little live crab spots and eat them. And I never used to get to go with them. So one day, I was going to buy some, quiet, I was going to buy some video tell games. Them her, shit. Tell them her. <laughs> I was yeah, going to buy some video games and shit, and um, we pulled up at the little flea market in Augusta, cause they got all the old school shit in that bitch. So we, when I pulled up, I seen it say live crowd. So I looked at it, I said, "What is this shit really live for?" Me? So I went there. I really wasn't even finna get them. I got tired walking around there. She said, "Man, I'm crowd. You like them shit?" I was crazy. So she turned around, and I went over there, bro. I looked in the damn bucket. Or something. It was live. I said, "Shit, how much them shit going for?" I'm thinking them shit expensive, but motherfucker, say shit. See the dozen got down to I say drop them some bitches in the bag. For how much? 25. I say drop them bitches in the bag. Drop them in the bag, take them to the house. Then my first time with them, bro. I'm scared as a motherfucker, bro. That first kid I did with them, that first kid I went viral off for, bro, that shit wasn't even playing, bro. Well, you be going viral. What's more views you got on uh, Instagram? 
Off uh, Instagram, I probably my most on Instagram. Uh, my page on Instagram probably what I think it's six point eight million. They just off my shit. Damn, man. boy. But that ain't nothing. Look at the algorithm, my though. Yeah, yeah, it got to that algorithm different, bro. That shit, that shit change every second too, bro. Like you gotta really be tuned in to the shit. That's why I tell people a lot. Everybody think about y'all wanna rap. I want to do this. No, y'all niggas need to learn algorithm first before y'all get into this other shit because I don't give a damn how hot you are. You put this shit out, nobody ain't going to see this shit. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Nobody ain't going to see it, bro. You ain't put it out right. For sure. Yeah. If you ain't hashtagging shit right. Gotta... Hashtag. Damn, I'll be, be slipping on hashtag. Yeah, them hashtag. Get that shit. Hashtag like a little train, bro. You know how Write you that get... down. All right, bet. You got a train. You got a caboose at the end of the train. Mm -hmm. the train got all these other trains on it, right? Whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, so the little, what you call it? So what's the train traveling? By hashtagging it, you could put your video on any type of train that's running. Yeah. But sometimes two minute hashtag uh, wreck your damn train. That's how I do it. I describe it to myself. I got you. But once that shit, just say some shit trending like right now. Well, they got to shut up in there, man. Tell them shut up. Like the day um was trending. The crazy ass boy trending. What's his name? Not Travis Scott with a little dude named Playboy Cardi. Mm -hmm. He trending. Uh, Kendrick Lamar. He trending right now from the diss so on the You just had to have their name. Just saying, if, if I was finna do it today. That what I hit. Whatever was trending that day. That's crazy. I, put I that didn't in even my know shit. that. I don't give a damn if it's say Martha Stewart. Put that shit down there, bro. On a real? Real Ooh. video. All right. Real video it don't matter. Yeah. Whatever you putting out there. I don't give a damn what it is. Put a hashtag on it and keep hashtagging your name, too. So how did you block out the motherfucker that said you, you know what I'm saying? Be like, oh, I hear this shit. What the hell bird doing? He bound me. You know what I'm saying? This and that. But it was hey, like. Hey, yeah, you hey, feel hey. me? All the haters and shit. That shit really brought a lot of stress. The on cause that squeaking. Go ahead. Bro. That shit really brought like a lot of stress to me, bro. Like because because when you run it, when you running your content, bro, you want your people to support you, bro. Yeah. Because at the, at the first time, your first dream of your people supporting you, because you gonna put them squeaking. on in the end. Black gotta come back. I'm gonna listen to my brother. You gonna you are gonna put your people on, so if they ain't supporting you, what the hell they around you for, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's a lot to this shit, bro. I, and I wake up every day thinking I ain't did shit, but the whole time I kind of have, but. That jealousy shit, bro. That shit gonna be that shit. So, that shit there, bro. So that what made you merge from the city into a bigger city. Yeah, you know I, 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 I try to merge to the world. Yeah, like I try to tell people, like everybody be real about the city, bro. Ain't about the city. Like we always gonna be here, or we always gonna have ties to the shit. We gotta expand to the world, bro. Because have everybody in the city they ain't gonna fuck with your shit. Sure. We gotta find those strangers, bro. For niggas sure. Who ain't got a reason keep to hate? Keep you. Open. It's too much and out. Go ahead, bro. Sure. Yeah, niggas who ain't got a reason to hate, bro. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day on school watch TV, niggas still gonna call me Lil Antoine, bro. For sure. Niggas I grew up, oh, that Antoine ain't no damn, you know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna respect them. Hey, uh, I see you got the skill with Dez Bang. How that come about, though? How they come about? I was hosting the show. Shout out Street Capital. Uh, Jed put me in a position to be the host or whatever. Shout out Street Capital. And me having people skills, bro, you know what I'm saying? Had already planned for it anyway. So, so got that caught him. Got the network. They got to. That's the one thing. Network. That nigga so so good. I forgot about Jack, boy. Whatever his name is. <laughs> they came up there. Uh, um, Eddie Harry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eddie yeah, yeah. Body stars. Oh, yeah, yeah, rapid yeah, yeah. night. Yeah, bro. I forgot about that nigga. Because Daisy was straight. That nigga shot that skit for free, bro. That real like a $1,000 skit, bro. Yeah. That shit free. I hollered him like, bro, let's get one in. He like, shit, let's do it. That's what I be saying. Nigga need a goddamn. That's what I be saying. You got to talk, you gotta, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? If I would have never sent it to that man, bro, I would never had to skip with that man, bro. Never. And then while I was hosting the show, I had came back there and hollered him. I was like, bro, you finna kill this shit, bro. He was like, how you know? I said, bro, I'm hosting, bro. I got him going crazy. I really ain't doing it. I said, I know you finna kill him. And then he let me sit back there and watch how he playing all his shit, too. Like, he real professional. Bro. Shout he out to this, bro. He kid, everybody told me to stay back there. He got his people. They move out. Bro, had that Bible. Bro, had his, um, his, um, what you call it, his content, whatever it is, whatever you write down before his, his, his notes, line, kind of notes. He was studying, bro. He got real quiet, bro. He got real comfortable, too. He changed to something else. And then changed again once he went to the stage. Like, he was motivated then a lot. It was like, what, four years ago? Yeah, niggas ain't fuck with Dez, bro. Yeah, but Dez on a whole another level, bro. Like, he showed me a lot, too, like. See, then plus, he, he from a city like Atlanta, bro. Around here, nobody don't really believe in you like you think they would. You know what I'm saying? Or doubt. You got, you got eight, six million. How many views? Oh, what? Oh, that dead shit? No, I'm talking about you say most you got 6.8 million. That's off my shit. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it don't, like they say, they going to hate you in your city anyway. Exactly. That's where you get the worst hate from. But you got, it ain't 6 million people in Greenwood. Yeah, so nah. motherfucking views came from somewhere. Yeah, right, it did. <laughs> the, shit. the thing I hate about that, that 
That video I did with the spaghetti, bro, that, that motherfucker had a billion, bro. Like, a billion, bro? Cross, what that's bro. on? That bitch on TikTok. Motherfucker was taking my video and put it on their page. I couldn't even. You didn't monetize it? Nah, I didn't monetize it at the time. Man. Not at the time. I missed the I miss the When I talk about our stress so much, I missed a lot of bread. That's I was bad, rich. that boy. It's why, like you say, monetization. That's a bad, that boy. Bro, they tore my ass up, bro. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah, I'm looking at my shit. One on got 18 million, one got eight, one got seven. I mean, it's just no, I'm just adding them more. That's why when I put my views on people, like, he gotta be a zero. Who the fuck I'm not, bro? I'm finding my shit. You monetized now? Kind of. I'm working on it with YouTube. Instagram got me on some bullshit. That's why I ain't. You gotta have some uh, subscribers to make money on YouTube. I mean, Instagram. Oh, uh, nah, Instagram, once you get to that certain, I gotta know. You gotta know. You probably get back IGN. Well, yeah, I, no, I don't. But I just got a blue check. Well, you good, but just go into the. um. You already got your business profile. You need to go look down in your page some more. You got to. But I'm saying, I thought they're saying the only way you can eat on Instagram though is you got to have subscribers. They got to pay you a month or some monthly. I ain't got that. I ain't got that yet. They ain't sent me nothing about that yet. Hey, what well, I heard that is a blue check though. That mean you. Verified. That mean you verify. Verify, like. but I slick you know out that, that mean. Check. Like you know how rappers and shit. Like you go on Instagram, you look at the rapper die. You know they that's their real page. Like you feel what I'm saying? They the got that blue check too though. The beauty of that shit just say I go. I go like some of my VP. He don't even know. Me. But once he see that blue check, get what he gonna do. He gonna make that's sure. That's a whole real. Mm -hmm. Click that button to go back to me. See who the fuck I am. See what I got going on. That's the show. Sure. It's a key too now. It's an element key in this shit, bro. Like this shit can be tricky as fuck too. It ain't no really no. And this shit, once you start winning in life, bro, this shit get weird as fuck. When I was doing bullshit, life was great. Now, bro, life scary as a motherfucker, bro. Take that from me. Like once y'all get a little older, bro. Yeah, y'all niggas start seeing like, boy, this shit here crazy. But like the curveball, fastball, he know I've oh, been out here too. Like, but this shit real, bro. Yeah, let, let, let's talk about it because there's some real shit to view it on know that, right? Word. My boy from the other side. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, our sides and shit been beefing. Forever. Type shit. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I be telling my homeboy, nigga can't tell me shit. I don't give a damn. I'm grown now. I fuck with who I want to fuck with. And I see you on your positive shit, and you on the same shit. You came at me with that type shit. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> so, Dota Mon, you feel me, bro? And, and, bro, on some real shit, bro, I don't give a fuck what nobody say, bro. Nigga can't tell me shit. Me and you on the same shit. We can eat together. We're going to eat together. That's how I locked in, too. This same way I feel on my behalf, bro. Sure, like, bro. we grown, bro. Like, and we got niggas that done died from this shit. Yeah, exactly, bro. And in, in the whole time, you got to think, bro. Like, when we were younger, maybe we could have came together. And just really talk as men instead of going off egos. Yeah. All that shit probably could have been different. But at the end of the day, we both got that same factor in us. It happened to you. It happened to me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's, it's it's crazy. But Nobody bigger than the program. Shit wild, man. Like, if we don't try to put a stop to, uh, you know, shit just going to happen. Some shit is out of our hands too now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because some people listen to certain people and some don't. So by me being around you, bro, I seen your structure, bro. Them niggas, they look up to you, bro. Like, I don't get treated like that. And we're just all together. It's just, it, we don't, it's just all together. And then, then, like I said, I ain't going to tell my nigga nothing I want to do. Exactly. And then, like I said, I really love all my nigga like little brother. Yeah. Like, my little so young nigga. You, you, like you, you done seen a life that you can put them on to that they don't even see it. Get them on out the way type shit. I know they probably be getting tired of me preaching, but I'm going to get you some advice. That's what I do. I hear everybody mad at me yeah. act out in there. Man, that's something be real. Yeah. <laughs> That's something ready to kill me too. Yeah. I be on these niggas like we like we like we all oh, nigga wet. Because I know if I see something in you, bro, I'm gonna keep saying I'm an Aries in a way, bro. I'm gonna push that shit in you, nigga. Because yeah, I want niggas make the same mistake you made. Exactly, bro. Especially them niggas that young, y'all niggas listen if y'all 19 or 20, man. Stop playing. Start on a business, bro. By the time you get 30, bro, you can be living life, man. Go ahead and break down the 20s now. Fuck that. I'm I'm backtracking. Like I already made it my head. I'm gonna be a 40 year old me in there, nigga. I'm gonna be 20 again when I turn 40. I'm gonna have that money on it. Yeah, we are. There's a whole industry out here, bro. So. This shit bigger than the world. This shit bigger than the city, bro. Like. It's bigger than your ego. Yeah, this shit real, bro. You like two years from 40, then. I don't know nobody. <laughs> oh, shit. How about four years from 40? Good three, dog. You say somewhere else in there, bro. You're somewhere else in there. Was the same grade now. Nah. Yeah, I already know. There's another thing that fucked me over too because I'm short, bro. And I used to, <laughs> I used to, I could blend in with the young niggas, bro. Like they wouldn't even know. Don't let me fuck around and get a cut. You would think I'm one of them young niggas, bro. Tight shit. <laughs> I'll blend in right with. That's why I know I can flow with any crowd, bro. It don't matter so, what. So this is a question coming from me, though. You know what I'm saying, 
Fuck all the bullshit. See, right. we done settled all this shit. Who used to win the fights back in the day? And back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> we used to win. They used I got to know. It was a no, fight. I'm keep it real. We got to pop your skin. See, we got yeah. to fight, bro. Everybody's yeah, so, so. going to lose, you're going to win. But the thing about it, bro, as men, that's what you do. So, you know what I'm saying? Niggas supposed to squabble. You know what I'm saying? Girls so, do the other shit. Men supposed to squabble. Anytime so, everybody so. got shit going behind, it's going to be a little altercation behind that shit type shit, though. You know what I'm saying? But good thing I got to live through the shit, bro. You know what I'm so, saying? So, that's so real. Bro, this shit was real, bro. Like, you walk down the street the wrong way, you might get caught slipping. And I used to be the dumb nigga that always be by myself at the time. Like, God damn, let they go. <laughs> well, I only go to the mail. I go to the mail about in the car. This like, shit I, real, I, I bro. Had a car right now, so you. J.K. man had to jump back in that bitch and woo the woo. I'm gonna tell you though, know, when, when, when Jane Bovin start coming around, y'all, that <laughs> nigga right there, nigga, I could be popping out of apartment by myself. Say, he come, I see with the first speed bump. He look at me. Hey, that nigga, <laughs> hey, Bovin used to love that shit though. Yeah, he did. We hey, I first met him though. This is how I first met him, Greenwood High football game. We outnumbered like a motherfucker. Fuck. <laughs> so coming out the gate. I ain't never seen a nigga damn my life. Ken Yeldale really saved my life that night. It was Ken Yeldale. Me and Thomas Simo got caught slipping, boy. Y'all was deep. So check it out. See Ken Yeldale. <laughs> Whole time, I'm still a screen nigga. I'm a real. I'm still going to fight Shout out to Tommy. That's my dog. Word. I'm still going to fight or whatever. But sometimes, but you got to be smart about this shit. It's too many of them, bro. We get yeah, to go yeah. to jail like uh, go to the hospital. It's it, it either that. So we slide jump in on Ken Yeldale. Car. Bovia come through. I never seen him a day in my life. We in the back seat. They had that urge. Bubble with the flames on it. Yeah. So we, I jump in the back seat. <laughs> that, that nigga. <laughs> word, word. <laughs> so I jump in the back seat, goddamn. This nigga pull up in the station wagon, bro. This nigga, deep. This nigga look at me. I don't think nigga see me. This nigga look like, yeah, nigga. Hey, bro, the fuck this nigga is? Yeah, man, we're, get we're, us out of here, man. Get us out of here. That nigga both here pull up. Hey, Welcome from Boston, nigga. Yeah, yeah. That, Baltimore? Boston? Nah, I think it's Boston. Yeah, it might have been. Hey, yeah. hey, that nigga here, though. That nigga came and got me one day. like, bro, ride with me. He ain't going to cut through that hey, bro. Mm-hmm. Hey, bro, this nigga came and got me. He knew. He had already rolled through the east, so they was standing outside. Yeah. So, I mean, I ain't know that. I'll be the car that they know both of you ride through. They the guy there stole the car. Boo, 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 boo. So I'm thinking both. I'm thinking both of you gonna. We finna go back to the G. When did they throwing rock? This man. nigga turn around, ride right back through. Oh, they they bought me car again. Yeah. Do do do. Both of you, bro. Both of you were here though, oh, bro. Trade man, daddy. One day, bro, I was just out there. Trade man, daddy was the only person out there with me, bro. I was out there trying to got there get some get some weed all type shit, bro. I fuck around cross speed, but you know you had deja vu. And I felt it like, nah, I look back, it was him. I said, what? <laughs> I knew I had to fight. So he come around the speed bump. He came around the damn bump. I said, shit, he finna stop. But he didn't even go cross speed bump. That nigga done jumped out of the car. I said, God damn, I gotta fight this nigga now, bro. Fight hey, did he already had that squeaky boy? What's up, man? <laughs> yeah, he popped out on me and Bowles one time. I'm out there trying to sell him the door. This nigga come out of nowhere. This nigga doing no hell. This nigga done pulled up again, bro. <laughs> hey, he is. Yeah. Let, let me ask you though, right? So we see you moving around with Black Zach, man. How that how that come apart, man? Ah, uh, that came apart, like like you say, when that networking shit is key. Yeah. And I had a little dream, like once I figure out my brother, he be on Black Zach, like cause he stayed in Columbia. He's always come home. Shout out on um, Smoke Man Joe, right there, Smoke Shout Man. True, true. Smoke Man is always saying like, yeah, bro, you gotta got them fuck these niggas for Columbia, bro. Black Zach, boo doo doo. So you know, I was in the street, bro. I fucked with music back then, but I was, bro. My number one priority back then was the street, nigga. I didn't give a fuck about nothing. Get up in there, more and go to the street. Yeah. So I'm in and out of how We got a little business shit going on. I come in, he showed me plenty of video. We're not paying no attention. So one day, I think Black was dropping. Uh, I had to catch up on all this shit once I got in. I think it was trapping like <laughs> Zach. Now, I've been on you, boy. Yeah, word, word, word. So yeah, trapping know. like Zach pop. They caught me. And then one day I was at the crib. I was just sitting outside, brainstorm. I say, bro, yeah, he the um, richest rapper in South Carolina. The whole time, like, he right the street, bro. I got to find some type of way to reach him. So what I started doing, he'll run a video. And I'll do a skit to it. Mm-hmm. Tag him. Tag him in the store. I see him come through. Boom, I'm working. I right, bet. I'm going to show y'all the side story to this shit now. I'm working. I'm working. I'm making skits. Whatever he do, I'm making. I'm giving a damn at 3 in the morning. I'm making one. 3.15 out of hit. Like, damn, that nigga crazy. So he coming through. He coming through. And one morning, I think it was, I don't know, was it us? It was one of them videos we made. That nigga inbox. My bro see me do I do this. I said, what the fuck? But the whole time I'm thinking, I'm gang now, boy. I'm now. I'm coming. Boy, we, we in there, boy. <laughs> I got a whole lot of work, dude. Boy, I thought I was in there. So check it out. Seen the video. 
He put on the page with her. That's another thing. Shout out to Black Zach for the first person to give me free promo. Because that shit there, he got real, like, the baby, all them niggas up under his shit. They follow him, bro. Like, niggas just to put you on their platform with all that shit they got going on for free. That's a blessing, bro. Niggas yeah, don't Shout out that. Black Zach. Shout out Black for that. And I kept going. And I kept going. At one point in time, I was going so hard, slick. I thought he had them goddamn like, what a nigga, Agavane type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He stopped. It like he stopped coming through. So goddamn, you know, nigga like, bro, nigga ain't gonna oh, fuck with you, bro. So all that, that shit. Ain't mad, nigga. Yeah, that shit motivated me, bro. So I hit him again. Kept going. That thing, you know, he told me to pull up. Shout out Newport. Newport really got me up there with him to the show that night. Yeah, he got me up to that show that night, and that shit. Shit clamped in, but I still had to work though, bro. I still wasn't in. Had a whole lot of work. And one thing about them boys, they're gonna really see what you got coming, bro. That's why we tell the young artists who try to jump out here, bro, you gotta fucking work, bro. You just can't. If a nigga tell you he watching you, bro, you better work. Sure. He waiting on you not to do that. When they come in life without work, they put in work. You got to, bro. Nigga, they learned that not too long ago. Bro. See, I'm gonna ask you a question. What's up? I heard how you broke down. The shit and everybody in here like they froze like when you told them like how you did you ran bro you gotta understand bro you ran real business shit at a young age bro I didn't have that knowledge I had the knowledge but not like how you did I was still using the street but you went to another level bro like yeah hey, I'm give y'all get this nigga his flowers for that shit because you really did that for Greenwood at the time even though we was on separate side I still respected it because at the same time I'm an Aries I'm still a real nigga no matter what go on bro sure. if the shit real it's gonna stand real with me no matter who do it if it really real if it fake it's fake sure. that's why a lot of people hate me because I'm gonna stand on that real shit bro sure. so goddamn when you start doing your thing bro you fuck shit up bro like <laughs> got boosting this nigga got boosted down here this nigga got lucha down here I'm like what the fuck I never hated though like damn this nigga doing this shit what I did was what the fuck can I do yeah. you know what I'm saying instead of hey like what, yeah, like, what can I do yeah. like you kind of I ain't gonna care you might be a couple percentage in on my squad what I got going on because yeah. I seen some of this shit through you and you did that shit bro I mean nigga you think finna get somebody the money to run this with a plan like that cause niggas ain't thinking like that bro when I think about giving a nigga a hundred or something, like, why don't the grow? Can't think like that. The nigga scratching that shit, and they let you know he been his money. We try, we try to find a way out the street, though. You feel me? He's supposed to, bro. But then they, like I said, they try to rallo me. I already know. Like, like before rallo, the boy try to rallo me. Like, fuck that, fuck that route shit. Feel me? Put that shadow around you, that, that, that little spotlight. What do you got going? And yeah. I seen how you kind of fell back from the spotlight. Yeah, that shit like a boss. How you supposed to do? Be honest, bro. I ain't even really never liked it, that rap shit. What? I ain't, but the boy, like, the high know you got it. But but be boring, brother. Get back on the road. Let's get on the road. Woo woo woo. Oh, then it take me like a fucking three four months to make a song. What? I got to go through some shit to make a song. Yeah, cause that's cause you cause you coming from the roots with this shit. You feel what I'm just saying? ain't in that rap type shit. But yeah, I appreciate that though, bro. Nah, bro, that shit, that, that shit kind of probably push a, you gotta think, I know a lot of niggas that were older you, I bet they were loving that shit, it's like some of your older OGs, like, damn, those niggas thinking, bro. I know probably some probably didn't like it because they, you did it. But what I'm so. saying is like, some niggas respect that shit, bro. You did it. You did that, bro. You gotta give yourself a big pat on the back for that shit, bro. You made niggas know you, that, you really an entrepreneur, bro. Like, that's different. Yeah, we're going down pop it. That's what I'm trying to get myself to, that next level of the entrepreneurship, like, Anything you dream of, we can do that shit, bro. I don't give a fuck what it is. Oh, but I, and too though, that shit come from my um my uncles and my daddy. Them. Yeah, my, I, my I, daddy big. He played big part with that, bro. I'm gonna tell you though, bro. I believe my daddy and your daddy were kind of plugged in. My daddy a Mosley, bro. Like he ran the city too. Like your daddy. Uh, he old school nigga now. Roof of Mosley, bro. That nigga old nigga, bro. Like he just with the white folks, selfs. Self house pill, that's what that nigga roll with. I was just young in the street. I'm an outside chap, so you know how I came. Well, I, I ain't get to see all this shit, man. Yeah. We probably know my brother Steve Mosley. You know, met Mobo long time ago, played football with Greenwood. Shout out my brother, he dead and gone. I like, that was like one of my, I would do stand here with me, bro. Like, that dude, that was my security guard. Like, that was like my iron giant, boy. I ain't give a fuck. That nigga love the hell out of me once he find out about you're know, my brother. Type shit. My daddy had already had a ass a kid type shit. I always had a life. Bro, how much uh, how much did uh C murder charge you for that future? Man. I ain't never get to ask you. They charged me like like two thousand dollars, then I shot him a band on the book too though. I gave him three. They were band I gave him a thousand on the book. I ain't gonna say that now. Then that nigga turned around, stole my song and put it on and put it on his CD and uh, put two verses on it. I let him slide, I let him eat though. No, he doing a lot. He did that. Now shout out to Murder, but he did that. So, 
Go ahead, go ahead, bro. So how you um get to that? Did you get through that point with Boosie? Uh, to get to uh, see murder type shit, or you just ah man, um, see, man you just not to get to him, man. Yeah, just, just, just gotta know how to move. Yeah, I think right I up. um I hit him, see murder in the DM, and then he put him with his manager type shit. School to my shooter. And then what's up, bro? And then and then you was working way back with the World Star day when World Star was on the computer. I remember yeah. going to your shit. Boosie seeing, paid for that bit too. A word, 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 yeah, bro. You were doing real. Promo work. Niggas is scared of that shit. To do that. I tell niggas, you, you think you're hot? They're going to say G with Yeah. They go to World Star. Nigga had, I go in there one day, I see down there what? A million views? Too? Like, I swear, I, I know I seen a million views on that one time, bro. I'm checking shit out. I'm going to World Star. I'm on computer, like, bro. I was into this shit, but I just didn't know where to start at, bro. And plus, I wanted to be a rapper, but it was like 75 me, you know what I mean? The city. <laughs> <laughs> Too many rappers. Yeah, yeah, I, I want to be a rapper, bro. I just get in the studio and freeze up. I'm out here, man. I can't do this shit. I said, though, I ain't gonna lie, boy. I really, I really uh fuck with Boosie. Then two now, look now. This nigga is a I done did with a lot of rappers got down. Like young dog down. And uh, you know what I'm saying, long little dog, but you, you know you owe me no 20. He still talking about that. He still owe him money. He ran off on my he ran off on my little 20 ball now. Get that. But um, uh, well, shout out cover Boosie. Cool. No will at some city, you gotta stand in the bullshit at hotel. Boosie had light in the door. We ain't, we ain't fuck with the hotel, but we was like, hey, he like, hey, yeah, have a bitch over here. Like <laughs> that type shit. Bullshit in that hotel, but Boosie, like, he a real nigga. He the only one, like, he was like us, though. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, damn, what the homeboy was? What the nigga who L.I.J. know? Some, uh, the one who got killed, man. What the fucking name was, man? I forget old boy name, but, like, Boosie, the only one, bro, like, dog don't like, Bro, I gotta have a five star hotel and and this and this like boosting them pull up, got down, coming, got down. They, they matter of fact, when I got in the money, they came to my grandma house. Bro, that's real, dang shit. You know what I'm saying? To your grandma, hey, that's a, bro. It was shot. He said he sent shot down there, but okay, okay, okay. But he he just like oh, that's why this nigga. You shoot I, the video with Donkey in the circle, Donkey. Yeah. yeah, Donkey came to my grandma house. Shot a video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Donkey on that preaching stuff. Not nah, old. Shot that out too, though. Hey, bro, it, it changes out here, man. This shit gotta be made one day, bro. Give a fuck how hard you running, but that change don't come in your life. You ain't gonna be here too long. This shit real. Well, I say that why, like, that how you know real uh street nigga. You know what I'm saying? Cause when nigga go through shit, nigga don't even want that street shit around them. Like with the laws and shit that come with that shit, bro. Like I like the streets ain't gave me nothing, but laws. I hate that, that right shit. Imagine it right here. Just say, you go to the bank with me right now. Tell like, hey, who you is? Middle school, I, uh, I ran the street back in the day. I did this right here. And let me uh, deposit 200. I mean, let, uh, see, let me get 200,000 out the bank. Yeah. There ain't no money in that fucking bank for that. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that's, what, what can I go to the bank and talk street to them and get money out of? Tell me. Tell me. It's a whole different game than that. What can I, I, can I go to the bank just out street smarts and get some out this motherfucker real yeah. quick? Hell no. So if it ain't making money, what the fuck we doing? You're right. Got families to feed, bro. At the end of that, I know you hear that shit a hundred times a day. Think about it, what the fuck you really say. But you really do got a family to feed, bro. You got people you got to be out here for, bro. You got to understand the shit you putting them through by you doing this fuck shit type shit. I want to be on my head, dog. I'm trying to live, be old man, man. Hell yeah, man. Kick back somewhere rich as hell, man. One of these days, not rich as hell. At least say I try. I'm trying to be like my granddad about 80, mad at all the kids and shit. Don't want nobody in the yard. That's me, That's me right <laughs> now, bro. No noise. What y'all doing? Who, who coming in? Yeah, they can take get the boy got down out of my damn yard. Shit, what about that right here, bro? You remember when you was coming up? It's always probably be that everybody had him around. That older dude you thought hated you, but the whole time he was trying to tell you, like, cause you know when you on that young. I see it now when I see the young niggas. I like, damn, they scam me because these niggas ride around with all. I mean, I was doing it too, but not. Nigga, if y'all know you got something, I call. Hey, bro, let's start real quick. Hey, man, hey, call your people. See, they gonna get you real quick, bro. Yeah. Cause I it. It, I'm a real nigga, because what I'm saying about it, I'm going to go do my jail time, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you don't take that pistol charge, I'm not going to say it there and say, hey, look at that little brother. Huh? Get what I got to do. I'm a real nigga. Dang. I mean, that motherfucker got it. I ain't going to say it, man, because they going to put it on you. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to go in there and write statements on you like, man, that was a little brother. Huh? I ain't going to do that. I'm a real nigga. I'm going to go to jail, so get what I do. I eliminate, eliminate myself from all that shit for coming around type shit. Like... If you got some shit on you, you gotta know people got on them in these cars. We get pulled, but some niggas ain't trill. We get out of the car. This shit in the car. That's your car. Land toy, he can nobody. You gotta go with us. Not we, 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 you about to say something, bro? Like, go ahead. See, I don't some real shit. I wish we did have that big homie type shit. A lot of niggas, 
jail type shit Word. all the time. So we had to learn from our own mistake type shit. See, mine got killed they like when I was like 22. See, that, see, that's why I be telling, I, I'm going to get that game all day type supposed shit. supposed to, bro. See what I'm saying? Because I ain't never had that. Facts. We had to learn from our own mistake. Then you, and the biggest thing, don't make the same mistake twice type nah. shit. I'm big on that, bro. Word. Next yeah, time, and learn from another nigga mistake. Exactly. That's my that's my first thing. It's an example. Yeah. You gotta take examples in life. You don't, it's like an analogy. If you don't take these examples in life, God throwing at you, get what? You're gonna be that next example. You out of here. So you also gotta you in life though, you also gotta sell shit for what it is, though. Like a lot of times, a lot of a lot of people show you red flag. And you overlook. Look at yep, yep. Uh, like it might be your homeboy. Uh, you, your homeboy might be doing bullshit, you know, since you was younger. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like. And you seen the red flag, but then my then my boy, then my yeah. boy about da, da, da. But as you get older, that shit change. Like I gotta, I'm older now. I gotta sell shit for what it is. So that's how I look at a lot of shit. Like I sell shit for what it is. So if do homeboy, do his cousin, do some bullshit. It ain't it ain't gonna work because I don't sell you for you is. So exactly. I, I know what you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect though. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. yeah. People gonna yeah. always tell you, got watch him. That they be shit be real. You feel your me? Like, you gotta somebody start, say, watch you him. Boy, you thought your mom was tripping, boy. I'm like, bro, that's my best friend. He's straight. I'm gonna say friend. Yeah, he ain't gonna do that like that. Friend, boy. That shit crazy though. Oh, dude, tripping. A lot of bullshit when I used to be lit drinking. I'd be like, I'm drunk. And now I'm sober, bro. Like I don't drink. Like I see, I be seeing shit. Like man, ain't no way to. You know what I'm saying? Like. And I just accept that shit so it don't bother me. I won't be hurt when the shit happen. Uh, putting a person on the pillow like, bro, never already, do me like that. Because you already got passes in your yeah, mind already. Yeah, you just yeah, waiting on it to play out. out. Yeah. So when it play out, I already I shot, I knew I it. Hurt. Yeah, yeah, I already knew it. I already knew it. That's, that's real shit, though, bro. You know saying? That shit come with age, though. I'm talking about for real. That shit come with age. Because when I was 20, bro, all I wanted to do was jump in the street with the whole time I was supposed to be so way educate myself, bro. Yeah. Like, for real. That would be really the biggest step in life I... I skill educate myself more than I ever been to the store and you see that white boy used to pick on in school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just see one of them, get what he pull up. Somebody got a brand new truck. No, Hell of a house. house. I'm on, man. Get what you doing? I'm out here claiming a damn street. We don't even own, nigga. And he, what the and fuck? he don't even pull up with a with a pocket full of cash. Nah. Bank card. Bank card. Shoes Chris. probably dirty as a motherfucker. Yeah. Debit card, all types. Hey, you know, hey, you know what I learned too, though, man. I be, I be <coughs> even. A lot of a lot of people, period, like black, white, be having a lot. The one that really got money and really then set he goes in life. Don't care how they dress. No, oh. they might pop up at an event. Shoe look like they just been playing in mud. Oh God! For perfect and example, that, that hey, bitch by you and your whole family. Everything. <laughs> hey, listen, bro. Whatever you want. Hey, listen. I seen the club on the last night, and bro, this every time I see this nigga, bro, so the guy be like, "Damn, this nigga black. This nigga don't got them. Never dress up on shit." But this nigga be bum as hell. This nigga have on some old ass Pumas. Got it, got them sis. But he got it. Check this out. You feel what I'm saying? It's real. Check this out right here. It's real. Like, damn. Shit. Check this out right here. You remember back in the day when you were younger, bro? You holly old school. Them whole song. Uncle, 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 what uncle just tell you? Tell me what uncle just tell you. Old school. Talk to him. I ain't got it. Man. Oh, yeah. yeah so. I heard. You, you, I, you learn, I try to learn that so bad. You understood why they said I that? I had to fly. Oh, I ain't got I hate it. That's how you survive, though. You do it now, get what nigga do. See, y'all boys so young. Boy, what you need? Oh, nigga, pull out like this on your ass. See, back then, the key to survival, let, let nobody know what you got going on. There's only a few niggas I seen something in jail, too, now. Word. I, don't even, I ain't even know that shit. Word, no. word. Another thing about with the life, if you if you ain't living your life all the way right right now, you got a lot of money, man, hide from the social media shit. I'm going to tell you that shit. Now, get the yeah. fuck out the way. I be trying to tell you. You think them man. likes looking good. Yeah, them same likes going to be writing them papers on your motherfucker. They wonder who it is. What he got going on? Yeah, they, yeah. They're going to they look at that shit here. Yeah. And who are them and what what's going on? Woody, woody, woody. Word. Real shit. Because they already on the internet. They got to think. Talk just just imagine right, if you was a police officer. I'd never be one in my life. Just imagine if you was a police officer right now. You ain't even got to go outside the police town, sit in here and watch Facebook, Facebook. social media all motherfucking day. And get what I'm going to do. Pinpoint niggas, put them on the wall. This him. He from this side. <laughs> That's how they break down this shit. How you think back in the day, Tupac and Biggie got the beef like that? It wasn't no fucking social media, bro. We had to hear what was going on through the word of the mouth for a magazine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This nigga might have caught brush slipping in L.A. last night. They got to a fight. Yeah, well, we hear about that oh, shit about four about months later. Mm -hmm. Now, they get a fight. We know about that shit three seconds later. Hey, man, what? This man, two pops alive. They still beefing right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, Papa Biggie just got there random between each other right now, bro. Might have be been like, they were calling back then. Wasn't no shit like that. Yeah, boy, they gonna pull them down phone out. But yeah, they gonna pull them down. nigga going on straight on live. Yeah, pussy ass nigga trying to play with me. Got that woo woo woo. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad I never did no shit like that, bro. I think I have.
when I was young. I ain't gonna okay. care. I think I had one time. Cause we all did dumb shit. Going straight to social media with Hell it, yeah, dumb shit. Trying to, man, bro, that shit was so ignorant, bro. For nothing. So now when I look at other people doing like, bro, what you doing this shit for, bro? A black charge. Bad end over here? Yeah. Yeah, you make a white man who's part of what? They closed, ain't We straight right now, though. I mean, they out there. They were asking to move or something. Oh, yeah, I know. We've been on point with it. All right, good, we're good. Hey, um... She wants to smoke. They want to smoke weed. Hell no, don't do that. Don't. I know, I win. Uh, Come so on, So screw up. But I'm just saying. Tell me, no, bro, how many kids you got? Two. Two. Part of this. I said, girl. Two girls. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking. Your father, so I know you got to stay focused with what you got going. Can't let them down. But them kids different, bro. And I got two girls, so you know, for me to say no at time because you got to think. I know he, you know what I'm saying, he an entrepreneur. Some shit you got to... uh to keep going with. Sometimes kids ain't gonna understand what you got going because you try to make sure when you do go through it, it's gonna be for the best with them. Like what I'm trying to do for my kid right now, I get them a lot of, I talk, you know what I'm saying? I be on them a lot. They don't be understanding that shit. But the thing is, if I blow a certain way, they'll never have to work a day in their fucking life, bro. You feel what I'm saying? They could become their own shit, bro. That's what I'm on. Building bosses, bro. Like, I don't want my kids to work. Even though they gonna have, might have to work for a while, I don't want my kids. Working for nobody, bro. That's why I try to go out here and be the sacrifice. Like I tell my daughter all the time, they don't be understanding. I be like, bro, I'm trying to build my shit to a platform. Like one day if something happened to me, y'all can run this shit. Like the school our TV shit can continue forever. I don't I don't want to be the front person of this shit all the time. That's why I try to put other people in position. And then while I get mad at certain people, but listen, I'm watching Skin Bone. I watch Skin Bone and Reggie Bay. I watch Skin Bone come up with a whole fucking comedy scene with people, nigga. Out of nowhere, put everybody together. I'm coaching just like Skin Bone, but nobody will fucking listen to me. That while I never stopped doing what I was doing. Because if I would have stopped, <laughs> I probably wouldn't be in the interview right now because I won't have nothing going on. You got to be self driven. You got to be. Man, hey, my baby, my, 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 mine, I never know nothing about the, uh, what the shit I had to do to get to where it is. My straight silver spoon. Kid. That's what's up, bro. That's what you want to do in life. You, you know what I'm saying? Word. I, 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 I mean that, that, bro. Everything I do for mine type shit. You feel me? The background still going to show, bro. No Man, matter how. I try to hide everything from my little girl. It's, it's not good. She just started looking at my little video. It's like, Daddy, you was on the movie? It's not good to do that, bro. I'm going to tell you from, you know what I'm saying? My baby, Silver Spoon, should have never known nothing about the stroke. That's real, too, for sure. But I'm saying it's not good to, to do that, bro. I ain't hiding who I am. I'm saying she will never known nothing about the stroke. Like, oh, for yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I, I, yeah, for sure. But I'm talking about, like, you know what I'm saying? You, you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't hide from... I hide who I am and where yeah. I come from. That's how you can break it down to it, but... It's, it's an age in life when, it, when they get where you start letting them know about that, though. Or uh, uh, opening up to them about they gonna that. Come like, you, you can't... It. Yeah, yeah you feel me? Like, like, that's that, that, what I'm saying. Like, yeah, for sure. sure. You can't hide who you are. You might as well be the one to tell them. It might be like, on some shit like, bro, I done seen in past experience, like, niggas be... You know what I'm saying? Like, nowadays, the... You know what I'm saying? The girls that why grow up, you know what I'm saying? They daddy be in jail and shit. Gone for some years. So you know I'm saying a lot to them where they were head. Yeah, like all type of shit. Shit fought the head or so you know I'm saying. Now she out here prostitute. So I'm so so I'm we saying. Try to step in early and you feel me? <sighs> yeah, them girls be right. being they yeah, 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 bro, yeah, yeah, like that's why right. my little girls, you feel me? I got three little girls, so I don't need yeah, play girl, or none yeah. of that. See what I'm saying? She be real with you. I'm trying to really look girl, down no. this way, bro. So I can get my kids like who I'm trying to get this shit together. So I can come back down their way and put my kids in their own spot with me type shit. So they can go to their mom, they come to my shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm working on now, bro, with my credit type shit through the bank. Like I'm doing a lot of credit work through the bank right now, paying that money back. Oh, I gotta show you how to do, how to do me your damn self. Well, you too, bro. I look though too, right? This see this this type of shit I'm on too, right? I'm telling you one of my biggest like motivation in life. And I met, and bro, this how, this one of my biggest motivation, right? I can remember I was four years old, four years old. My mom, we were living in Gotbo, right? So my stepdad, though, I say it took me a long time. At first, I ain't never, cause then my stepdad, I want my real dad, but this man took care of me type shit, right? So we, they found a house in country home. Bro, we was so fucking broke. We ain't, and they were doing their best, right? But we ain't had no, uh, Furniture sitting down. We made a Christmas tree. Well, you know the lights that go around the tree. We made a Christmas tree on the wall with that. You see what I'm saying? My mama them, like all I ever got from my mama was socks and draw. You know what I'm saying? And then my other brother, she'll buy him toys and shit though, whatever, right? So I ain't never had my mom from that. 
You know what I'm saying? I, I peaked that shit at a young age type shit, right? right? So I just won't ever want my little girl to ever go through that. That's why I hustle so hard and do what I do, bro. So, and I respect my mom and they, cause they went in for us though. You know what I'm saying? That's some real shit right there, bro. So, but you know, that might have made you too, though, bro. You know, it did, bro. Yeah, yeah. I was four. How the hell I remember that when I was four? Yeah, it molded you, and it's your little same image you kept having. Yeah, and I know like, not yeah. to never ask up now. I like, I be, I used to be mad at my brother, cause he ain't understand. He ain't come up with that with us. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So she, but she go hard for him to get him toys and shit. So you know, other kids be like, why the hell? Why I'm getting socks and draw? Every girl over here, bro. He get broken toy. You know what I'm saying? But I really used to be mad at my brother for that for a long time. Right. Cause okay. I, but I seen I was in the with him. I seen the struggle though. Word. You know what I'm saying? That shit real though. Tight you gotta think if it wasn't for the struggle, what the fuck would we be? Should have been too easy out here. It's been too easy. It's been too easy. Why well, black folk different, man? Bro, we can just get over. Listen, black folk, any folk you listening, if you can just get over not being a man, yeah, everybody can be fucking rich. I don't yeah, give a ego. fuck. Like, look, man, it's a car. Right, it's cars outside, right? Yeah, what? That car got tires on it. It got boats on it. It got a motor in it. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to be inside the car. Nigga, you ain't got to drive the car. I could be the lug on that damn tire. Nigga, we get what? I'm rolling with the team, bro. It's yeah. Time. I ain't right got to be the driver. I might not have a license to drive the motherfucker. Everybody entitled. Just stay down. Everybody want to be the big man. Yeah. <laughs> No, bro, that shit don't work like that. When I'm around Black Zach, I don't be trying to be no beat man. I don't even talk about my shit. I'm I'm around him to make sure he well, if he needs someone to a promo, whatever he need done, bro. Like I don't never hey black that shit skip, bro. I didn't know. Be around there, shoot no skip, bro. I'm right, nigga. He put me part of the team. I'm playing my fucking part, man. For sure. That big. You got when the door open up one day, boom. School Walk TV right here. He, he done put me around so many people to win. Yeah. I'm around so many multi-millionaires. I ain't even got to be around. I can just call certain people, which I don't. Like, if niggas, and I know you got the advantages too. If niggas had the advantages in life we had, they'll take advantage of it. And, and these niggas have been burnt them out because this nigga keep calling me. What's wrong with this nigga? Like, bro, I got to go chill with him. Like, just to go be around. But I ain't known that. I be trying to better myself first. So I'm going to have a nigga calling me. What were you at? Type shit. Yeah. I want to be calling you, but it's vice versa. But you see where I come from with that? Like, I ain't on no deep Ryan type shit, bro. Sure. I could jump out here right now and call a star and shit, me and Wim, we go jump on the road. We go be with that entourage at night type shit. Nah, it ain't about me not wanting to go. It's about me building my own lane, bro, not wearing my weapon about me. That I respect time, that, too. Bro. Fuck that, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I'm rolling, bro. I can quit my job right now and go jump on the road thing, but ain't that ain't a vision I see for myself. I see myself keep working into the shit, keep you in the head. And you gonna know when to stop. People ask me all the time, bro, why you work? The fuck you mean why I work? I got bills, nigga. The fuck. So, so what's up? What's next for School Out TV? What's next for School Out TV? I don't know, bro. I've been doing a lot of behind the scenes working with the artists, bro. And I really want to um, try to pop this podcast thing out, but I'm gonna sit back and keep studying, bro. Like, you know, the better the better student you had in some, the better you are gonna be. But, but we you know, already told you got the invite up here. You already know me. Yeah. That's the beginning. Yeah, so sure. what I'm saying is like, it's so many lanes out here, bro. Mm -hmm. Like it just ain't no one lane to this, to this, to the different life, bro. We can do whatever mm -hmm. the fuck we want to do the whole time. I, I'm like a a wolf, clone as a sheep as a comedian. The whole time, I'm not no damn comedian. It's just a step I gotta take until I can really have my name to a certain spot to run something else type shit. What I really want to have me roll. You know what I really want to do is, I want to start that shit. I told you, bro. I want to be the say cheese. Of South Carolina and help somebody else be the, the academics of South Carolina. Like, meaning, you get paid all day to post these nigga posts. All you gotta do is go on your page and have somebody get these, get this money, run this cash app up, run this VMOs up. Nigga eating online, boy. But these nigga ain't, ain't no more money. Y'all think academics ain't getting paid? You no know money get to post some nigga shit? The nigga getting deals and shit too, man. They got the labels. Deal with the label to run this promo. That's why I say with Glorilla, she made it the biggest mistake that ever did. Yeah. What's that dude named Cassinet? He come through a lot in academia. Oh, you can't diss them, bro. Those guys, we got to touch, bro. Yeah. Because once you diss them, when they, when them niggas, they'll blackball you, bro. <laughs> you going to need them for promo, bro. They going to have to get the streams out here, bro. Like, believe it or not, bro, that's that just what it is. Go on, say cheap pay right now. Go on, on academia, academia right, right now. now. Get paid for being messy. Nah, but let me tell you something about that. Messy. No, let me tell you something about that, though. They, they, they say he started to war in Chicago. He probably did. <laughs> he he get, probably did. Hey, he get messy, man. Yeah. Like, like he, 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 he speak on shit and say shit 
the motherfucker hesitate to say or won't say. We gonna say it. That nigga don't be like, that why if he tuning in or something, motherfucker gonna lock in because like, oh, he got the T. Yeah. I used to say, hey, that summer bitch, so I figure out what the fuck he was doing. Yeah. Smart as fuck. Motherfucker, how the hell messing it though? It's listen the industry, bro. Listen to me right here. How the fuck I bring the industry all the way to me? Get yeah. what the nigga did. He did that now. He I'm doing just that. talking. You get what we gonna do? The same shit in Greenwood, talking up to academic. Your fat ass better get ready, nigga. We on the goddamn way. No <laughs> jungle. We on the motherfucking way. I promise. All you niggas, we on the way, nigga. Y'all gonna have to see the Carolina shit, bro. Like, this ain't no just no I swear to God. one foot in. Damn, we in this shit, bro. The same way they getting that money, we can get that same motherfucking money, bro. We the same level. Them niggas started out with nothing either. The fuck was starting out? I ain't saying with nothing, but with a dream. Shit ain't just happening over motherfucking night, bro. This shit goddamn. Gotta work, bro. Academic. At the end of the day, academic ain't no, no nigga they saying he out there on no screen. Oh, real nigga, get what? That nigga bank account real as a motherfucker. Boy, he ain't. Yeah, he running, though. That fat fucker ain't, bro. All of them. And get what? South Carolina ain't got no dude like that, right? Hey, motherfucker be ready to kill him, though. Yeah. He won't kill that <laughs> he gonna stay put up, but get what? He Chicago got... want a head. Yeah. But get what about the nigga, though? He know, he know how to move. Don't if you ever get academic, don't think you just got it. You better real watch security, around. Real security. You real security, you better watch around and you're gonna get blow. You better blow him quicker, but you still gonna get blow. That man got real money. He got people around him, bro. He got muscle. He might not look like cause he's like a little average, timmy little pussy boy. All right. And money bro, talk. Yeah, it do though. All right, with that being said, bro, what's what's up? Where everybody can find you at, man? You know, school out TV. Get out of here. Let everybody know what you got coming, where we can find you at. You know you got all support up here, bro. Like I told you, bring your logo, we're gonna put it on the say wall. Say that, say that real shit, that real shit, cause nigga have to do none of this shit. Nigga real for that shit, and I'm always sure. salute you for that. Never go against you on no bullshit. Y'all gonna keep this shit real like men, like it's supposed to be from the beginning. But yeah, man, y'all find me on Instagram, Facebook, School Walk TV, SKUWAP TV. I don't give a damn where you at, man. Just anywhere. Who is you, boy? We coming. God damn it, slick, keep this shit. Well, we gonna keep this shit, motherfucker, going splash. Do what the hell I told you to do. If oh, yeah, ain't gonna be, gonna be a time in the day. Slick, goddamn, you might have a private show. You might have a separate show from him. Cause this shit gonna kick out. Them niggas gonna start booking us in different cities. This shit gonna no, kick bro. off, bro. This shit gonna kick out. That man just brought Terrence Gangster Williams down here. The city don't even know what the fuck going on. I don't know. Hey, hey, on no city. So. I ain't gonna lie, though, man. Hey, I gotta say, look, when we all uh, with the main event, oh, I will book. I'm gonna be on point. <laughs> you gotta think oh, yeah. about it, bro. Hey, listen, hey, listen bro. Somebody no, listen, y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> man, at night. At what? At Old Town. At Old Town. Yeah. Y'all jumped in the car. Oh, instead of lagging out, like lagging behind. Like, <laughs> I, had to, I had to go grab him. Yeah, that Me and Domo. We like, oh, <laughs> made himself at home, though. Uh, give me, yeah, <laughs> word. You got to think, man did over 20 something <laughs> years. He still kind of lost out this shit. This shit. Hey, but the whole time, though, he like shit. Oh, yeah, he like, I see you here. I know you got me. I like, yeah, we're all, all got comfortable at the end yeah. of the night. I mean, when yeah. Nick, hey, bro, Nick first got he looking around corners and shit, and I'm like, boy, you straight now, you with the ball, and now you oh, with yeah. the guy, hey, bro. That yeah, nigga he... really slaying shit, yeah, for real, nigga. This nigga was a real slayer. I'm a real cat money fan, no limit fan. I was in the mix with these niggas, listening to the music. So when this nigga came home, I said, oh, this the nigga, this gangster. Man, I don't say he got over twenty bodies. No, he do, bro. The boys rap yeah. about it. For him to do that shit though, he humbling here, ain't he funny here? You gotta think. He, he on point. That bitch ain't never smoked or drank the neck. That's what I'm saying. For him, man, to he do can tell it, you he everything from 1970, oh, man. Yeah, he remember all the oh, dates. He like yeah, oh, oh, every hey, day. Oh, oh, yeah, well, goddamn March 31st, goddamn 1998. Yeah, we did this every day. That shit like, what the fuck? Word. Yeah, thank. Then when he get it wrong, he might be like, no, it went, it went March the 15th. Bro, I couldn't even tell you. I, I, yeah. so, <laughs> hey, listen, shout out OG Giggity, man. Hey, bro, listen. Right. I couldn't even tell you got down um the the lad the lad bitch I caught three months ago, her name. I couldn't even remember her name. Oh, I could tell you got down, yeah, such a broad, <laughs> man. I had her got down March something, something. Like he can give you every date. And aunt pray about five times when it's real it Muslim shit. Yeah, I think, bro. Like when you was asking them questions last night, I was feeling where you was coming from. You gotta think. We done been out here so long. We, sure. You know what I'm saying? Unk been in that fucking cage. You got to think. Unk really started the hot boys, bro. Mm -hmm. The hot boy name came off of this nigga and two more niggas. I think Mosquito. Yeah, he made that. Then the other two niggas now. I think not Mosquito. They might not, I forgot their fucking name. Them niggas was the original hot boy. When you hot see Bezo, niggas, Mosquito. Hot Bezo, Mosquito. Yeah. Um, when you see these niggas, when you see Terry Gates, you know to get the fuck out the way back then. For sure, for sure. He on that bullshit, that dumb shit. That's why a nigga went fucking with Cad Money back then. He was the fucking muscle, bro. For sure, for sure. Real muscle, bro. 
Hey, bro. That being said, man, like I said, you got the green light up the bit. Do it. We're together. We got episode. Do it. Whenever you need to pull up. Yeah, you, know. you call me, man. Do it. I'm going to try to be here. We got it. Like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's hey, like you said. Flashy. Like you said, if I ain't around and you and Splash or whoever want to talk about some it. shit, Word. come run that motherfucker. Just your bring your logo. Going. We're going to put it on the thing. We got it. Let's go. So, this is another episode, episode four, man. Bowline TV present. Let's talk about it, man. Shout out School Out TV. Let's do it.